Joe Biden promised Ukraine a billion dollars if they fired the prosecutor investigating his son's company. If the prosecutor's not fired, you're not getting the money. Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> Got fired. But when President Trump asks Ukraine to investigate corruption, the Democrats want to impeach him, and their media lapdogs fall in line. They lost the election. Now they want to steal this one. Hey, welcome back to Greatest Media. I'm Chris. Thanks so much for joining us. Today, we are going to debunk some more David Pakman ridiculous lies and assertions. Just wanted you to see that little clip to remind you exactly what happened, what Joe Biden has done. We've got more proof. We've got more receipts. Now, without further ado, let's dive right in. Republican brutally being fact-checked on live television and having no other option other than to admit, hey, you know what I just said was a lie. So he simply keeps on telling the same lie. This relates very much to something that realize what he said. So brutally fact check that he has to continue this. You admit that he's lying and continue lying. Just remember that takes up an entire chapter in my forthcoming book, which I'll tell you about in a moment. This is Republican mm -hmm. Congressman Tom Tiffany. He was on CNN. He was trying to tell CNN anchor Boris Sanchez that they have the evidence of the illegal money, something with Joe Biden. Boris Sanchez fact checks him and says, not only is what you're saying not true, it didn't even happen when Joe Biden was vice president. Listen very carefully to what Tom Tiffany says, because this if you blink, you will miss it. But this is one of the biggest problems. That's a very telling that that tells you everything you need to know about this video right here. He's got to explain it. If you blink, you miss it. That's because just like when you drive through a town that's so small that it's really doesn't warrant being there and you blink, you miss it. When you blink, you miss it because there's nothing there. Problems with American political discourse right now. See if you can spot it, and then we will talk about it. And there's it. no evidence in any of the documents put out by the Oversight Committee that a single dollar went to President Biden when he was in office. Therefore, there's no evidence that he did anything illegal, that he abused his power, uh, or that he abused his power in office to help his. Uh, family members or, or friends get wealthy. Yeah, well, Joe Biden has a check in uh, in the amount of forty thousand dollars that was has his name on it. You got another two hundred thousand dollar check that but, came from Jim and Sarah Biden to him. I mean, sir, there's sir, over I twenty have that million check here. So, I actually have that check here. That was a check from twenty eighteen when he was not vice president, and it actually says that this was a reimbursal. This was a loan repayment from his brother. <laughs> so. You can make the case that the Bidens did not do this while Joe Biden was vice president, but I think it's contrary to the record. And it's contrary to what happened when Joe Biden was vice president and he went and called off the prosecutor. And All right, so now he goes over to the Victor Shokin thing, but that's not what I care about. Did you notice the language that Tom Tiffany used there? Tom Tiffany referred very specifically to a particular check. And then they put up the checks and they said, we've got these checks. These checks are not from when Joe Biden was president of, or vice president of the United Please States. Look. And Tom Tiffany goes, well, you can make the case that he was not vice president at that time. That is not a matter. OK, now we're going to discuss this. Now we're going to debunk this ridiculous argument by Pacman. First of all, where does the money come from? When does the money change hands? When does the money go into Biden family pockets? It doesn't have to go even directly to Joe Biden, although it does. In this particular case, the $40,000 check was written after Joe Biden was no longer vice president. However, all of the money from which the check was written, all of the money that accounts for the funds that were transferred to Joe Biden, all go into Biden family coffers while Joe Biden was vice president. You don't have to trust me. Let's bring the receipts. Here we go. Check this out. News alert, explosive new evidence that the Biden family was taking bribes from corrupt foreign nationals while Joe Biden was vice president. Here's House Oversight Chairman James Comer. The committee is concerned by the complicated, suspicious network of over 20 companies. We have identified the Bidens and their associates used to enrich themselves. 
Most of these companies were limited liability companies formed during Joe Biden's vice presidency. The bank records show the Biden family, their associates, and their companies received over $10 million from foreign nationals. $10 million to the Biden family. And nobody can tell us what the Biden family business is. No one. And 20 different shell companies. That sounds legit. And it wasn't just money from China or Ukraine. Money was coming in from everywhere. While Vice President Biden was lecturing Romania on anti-corruption policy, in reality, he was a walking billboard for his son and family to collect money. The Bidens received over $1 million for the deal. And 16 of the 17 payments to their associates' account that funneled the Bidens' money occurred while Joe Biden was vice president. That's the key. The money changed hands. The money came into the Biden family coffers while he was vice president. They may have waited to physically write him a check in his name until after he was vice president, but all the money came into the Biden family and to the associated companies while he was vice president. Now we can go back to David Pakman and don't forget that you've got the co-conspirators in this. You've got the two people who were involved with Hunter Biden as business partners on the record, under oath, saying that the big man, Joe Biden, was involved in all of this and that the one thing they were selling as the Biden family business was the Biden name and they were, they were peddling influence while Joe Biden was vice president. The money came into the Biden family coffers while he was vice president. That is is bribery that is corruption here we go of opinion in march 2018 trump was president biden was neither vp nor president that language that you just heard is at the center of one of the biggest disasters in american political discourse and when both sides deserve blame i blame both sides on this issue it is almost exclusively the purview of the American right wing to introduce a matter of opinion language when things are just facts. I have an entire. Yes, the facts are the $10 million rolled into the 20 shell companies owned by Biden family associates, Hunter Biden, Jim Biden, all of the Biden family directly connected to Vice President Joe Biden while he was vice president, while he was out stumping, while he was specifically telling foreign leaders that they, he had to get paid in order for them to get what they wanted. It is clear corruption. It is clear bribery. It's clear pay to play. The fact that he tries to couch this as there's no evidence, the fact that he tries to defend this idiotic reporter who thinks there's no evidence when they've got bounds of it is just mind boggling. Chapter uh, in my forthcoming book called What Are Facts? And in the oh, chapter, I explain, by the way, sometimes the question is, what are the facts? OK, when we have a disagreement as to how much of the budget went to, I don't know, uh, funding food stamps. We have a question of what are the facts about that? We just have to find the number. What percentage of the federal budget went to food stamps? But we have a different problem in American political discourse right now, which is one side increasingly thinks that stuff that is just a matter of fact is actually a matter of opinion. Uh, when it comes to, I don't know, did the vaccine cause 17 million deaths, which of course it did not the covid vaccine. There are people who say when they are presented with all of the data telling us the vaccine has not caused 17 million deaths, they go, well, listen, it, I, I believe that it has. I have a different perspective as if that is just as valid. And what you might hear deep in there is the same sort of my truth stuff that the right criticizes of the left as being this postmodern uh, uh, diversion from reality. OK, so he tries to go and claim that people are now claiming opinions are facts and facts are opinion. He is doing the dipsy do flipperoo, which is what the left has done for decades. Convince you that facts are not really facts. 
So do we need to bring more facts based on this ridiculous idea that this congressman got brutally fact-checked and that actually, no, none of this happened while Joe Biden was vice president? Shall we go there? Let's do it. And I will share this link in the description so that you can see the Biden's influence peddling timeline complete with numbers. So the idea that there is no facts, oh, the, you have no evidence that Joe Biden and any of this ever happened. They've got the shell companies. They've got the dates. Joe Biden becomes vice president. They form Bohai Harvest RST Equity Investment, along with Devin Archer. But I, RST stands for Rosemont Seneca Thornton. So Rosemont Seneca Thornton, the Bohai, Rosemont Seneca Thornton. So now Biden starts traveling to Kazakhstan, to Russia. And oh boy, we have a Russian oligarch who wires RST $3.5 million. And where does that $3.5 million go? 750000 goes to Devin Archer, who has stated on record under oath that Joe Biden was a part of all this. He is a co-conspirator. That makes his testimony extremely valid. So he gets the first seven fifty, dollars but then $2.75 million gets split up between him and Hunter Biden, directly related to Joe Biden. We can keep going. They mentioned Romania. We get to Russia and Kazakhstan. We get to Ukraine. Kazakhstan, another $142,000. Ukraine, we get to Romania. Another. Now we get to China, 1.7 billion linked petroleum chemical company. They wa uh, China, they invest $484,000 into a company that doesn't actually do anything. It just funnels money to the Bidens. Now we get a deal worth $600 million. Then he goes to Romania. Then people start wiring him money from Romania. $1.38 million. And on and on. Ukraine, Romania, Ukraine, Romania, Russia, Kazakhstan, China. And the list goes on and on. And the circle goes round and round and round. Tens of millions of of dollars. We will link to this in the description so that you can see it. And with that, I think we have proven that A, that congressman was not brutally fact-checked. First of all, it wasn't very brutal at all, other than the guy brought a copy of the $40,000 check and claimed <gasps> it wasn't during Biden's vice presidency. No, that particular $40,000 check wasn't, but all of the expenses that Hunter Biden paid throughout Joe Biden's vice presidency all the money that was funneled to Joe Biden via shells, via Jim Biden and others, that all took place. And all the money that paid for the $40,000 check that Joe Biden received in 2018 and paid for the $200,000 check that Joe Biden received after he was vice president, all that money came into the Biden family while Joe Biden was vice president. And amazingly, the money stops flowing to these 20 shell companies the day that Joe Biden leaves office as vice president. That's because all they were doing was peddling Joe Biden's vice presidential influence and they were selling that and that's called bribery and they should all go to prison. And so he's, he didn't get brutally fact-checked and Dave Pakman has his facts completely wrong. He's not even close. We will link to this. You can go do the research. Feel free to do the research yourself. I wouldn't recommend reading his book. If you want a good laugh, you might go for it. But hey. Once again, we will keep debunking this and we listen to this crap so that you don't have to. Thanks so much for joining us. Remember, we got a republic to save. We got to we got to resurrect it from the ashes now that it's gone into full-blown lawfare and banana republic, but we can do it because God is good and he is sovereign. I believe it'll all be good in the end.